Chloe. I love fashion and I've always been super creative. One day it struck me that I didn't want to look just like everyone else. So I started designing and sewing my own clothes. You can do it too. I'll show you how easy it is to get started. You know, kind of like having a tutor to help you get through the rough spots. You can download this video right onto your computer or your iPod and sew right along with me. I picked this really cute new look jumper pattern number 6826 to sew. I think I can get a lot of really fun looks from this pattern. And it's marked easy, so I know it will be simple to sew and not so intimidating. I decided to make view A. For this jumper, I chose denim and a matching fabric lining. I also bought this really cute ribbon, which will tie the whole look together. Now that I have my fabric and everything else I'll need, I'm ready to start on the jumper. Hold it, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Did you know that every pattern comes with complete instructions? And it's a really good idea to go on and read those instructions all the way through before cutting into anything. This way, I can avoid a costly mistake. I need to find three things. The right side of my fabric, the selvages, and the fabric width. Now finding the right side of the fabric is usually pretty easy on most fabrics. And since I'm using denim, the darker side is the right fabric. See the two edges that look finished and don't fray? These are the selvages. To measure the width of your fabric, lay your fabric straight across on the table and measure from one end of the selvage to the other. And make sure that you hold the measuring tape really straight across. Even if it's just a little diagonal, you'll end up with a measurement that's actually wider than the fabric is. Looks like this fabric is 60 inches across. Now here's a really good tip. If you know that you're going to be washing your garment after you make it, go on and toss the material into the washer and dryer before doing anything else. This way, if the fabric shrinks, it will do it before and not after you've made your garment. Now that I have my fabric all ready to go, I need to check with the instructions to make sure that I have the right cutting layout. Since I'm making view A, it looks like I'll be using layout A1B. And notice that it says with nap, which means that all the pattern pieces will be going in the same direction on the fabric. Why does this matter? Well, say you have a fabric with a print or a shading that runs in only one direction. If your pattern pieces are going in all sorts of directions, then so will your print, and you may not want that. Stick with a with nap layout and you'll never make that mistake. According to the cutting layout, the fabric is folded in a very specific way. So be sure to follow it exactly. You're going to grab one end of the fabric and pull it towards the center like this. And then grab the other side and match the selvage up right in the center. And when you're finished, it should look like this. Now that my fabric is laid out on the table and ready to go, I'll need to look at the instructions to make sure that I have the right pattern pieces. If I look right here, they're all numbered. It looks like I'll need pieces one, two, three, and four for view A. And FYI, if there's no view number after a piece on the list, don't worry. It just means that that piece is used for all the different views in the pack. When you're cutting the pieces that you need from the tissue, just be careful with the other pieces that you're not using. Just because you're not using them this time doesn't mean that you won't want to later. Patterns give you all the things you need to create a lot of different looks, and that's why you have all those different pieces. I got a great tip from my grandmother. Iron the pattern pieces before you get started. This makes them super flat and easy to work with. Look at these pieces. See the arrows? These arrows should line up with the lengthwise grain of the fabric. How do you know lengthwise grain? It runs parallel to the selvage every time for every single fabric, no exceptions. See how pieces one and three say cut one on fold? That means that the arrows are literally pointing to the lengthwise fold. Place the pieces that should be on the fold first. You want to make sure that these are taken care of. You can work all the other pieces around them. Pieces two and four both say cut two. Just put them where they fit on the fabric, just as long as they run with the lengthwise grain of the fabric parallel to the selvages. As you cut out the pieces from fabric, make sure to cut exactly along the line that's marked for your size, carefully. And all the pieces should fit together nicely. See these little triangles? These are markings called notches, which help you line up one piece to another when you're putting your garment together. 
take the tip of your shears and snip right up the center. Now that my denim pieces are all cut out, I'll need to mark the darts on the bodice piece one, which I'll do with tracing wheel and dressmaker's tracing paper. As you can see here, I've put a row of stitching along the neckline. It's called stay stitching. And what this does is keeps the neckline from stretching out while I'm handling the piece. I started at the back and I made my way towards the front, stopping at the middle. And then I did the same on the other side. The instructions are really helpful, so make sure that you keep them out and where you can follow along. After cutting the ribbon I bought in half, I now have two equal lengths of ribbon, which will be the ties. Not only will they be super cute, but I can also use them to adjust the fit, depending on how tight I tie them in the back. 